All right, we're going to watch Nico's breaststroke straight on. And from here above water, you can kind of see how shallow that head is. And I know we've kind of talked about that in each video, but you can kind of see what we're talking about here. We really want to make sure that that head drives underwater. You should be probably about two to three inches at least underwater, not really so much right at the surface. Here, your head position looks good. Your eyes are looking straight. So I don't see a whole lot of movement with your head, and that's really, really good. But just roll those shoulders as your hands come forward, and your breaststroke's going to be a lot better. Do a good job of breathing early. You do a great job, and you can kind of see right here where your hands are so close together as you drive forward. That's fantastic, Nico. We like to see that all the time. You can see right there that your feet finish the kick and you're into your next pull. So you do such a good job of going from the next stroke to the next stroke to the next stroke. You're not too long of a glide. You're not rushing it. You're right on. As soon as those feet come together, you're starting your next pull, which is exactly where you want to be every single time. So, Nico, perfect job there. I absolutely love that. Good. And I think the other thing is if you can get your head down a little bit better, you're going to see a little bit more strength in that pull because your hands are going to be higher in that water. So let's make sure we really work on getting those hands up. All right, as we drive into the wall here, good job of a two-hand touch. All right, so a couple things. First off, what I want you to do is here is look at this hand that's on that wall. You're kind of looking up at me, okay, so you're looking more towards the ceiling. Make sure you watch that hand as it comes off that wall. All right, right here it looks like you're bringing your legs straight underneath your body, which is really, really good. Your hand is going more in front of your face. Lynette always talks about elbowing your brother and calling your mother. So you want to take that hand and bring it right by that ear. So instead of being where it is there, you want it to be more in this position here. So don't let it go quite so wide. And you kind of see right here where your legs are facing this way. Remember, we want to see those knees facing straight up. I do like how quick you're pulling your hand off the wall. Your hand is coming off the wall before your feet hit that wall. That helps to make for a good quick transition. That's great. You can see as you're pushing off, your heels are really, really high. Your knees are low, your hips are high, and you're going straight down. That's where we want to see more of that knife-like motion where your knees go straight in and your knees come straight off. As we start the pull, we can see we have good streamline, nice long body position there. There's your kick. That kick looked a lot better and a lot stronger there than it did on the underwater kick. So well done there. Okay, again, you kind of see that your hands are out to the side. So by keeping them out to the side, you're keeping a little bit more resistance up there on top of your shoulder. If you take those hands and stack them on your thighs, your shoulders are going to be more hunched, which will keep you more in that streamlined position we want to see. All right? Good kick. Good stroke, Nico. Your hands are right out to the side when your head's breaking the surface. Well done. Perfectly executed. 